Now back to Property Source Radio with your hosts, Brenna and Pat, on Sports Radio 950 ESPN. Welcome back. I'm Brenna Hartman, the Fixie Chick. We're live in the studio. Alex Lillig, our beautiful producer. We've got Patrick M. Coyne over there, the co-host, <laughs> showing up every week, old faithful. I know, love it. You. I know it. I've been visiting with Jim Hartson, a very good friend of mine and business associate from Williamson Hardware. Thank you again for taking the time to come out here this morning. Oh, it's always fun. We love having you. Yeah, we You're love so it. knowledgeable. I yeah. just, you know, just I just love your whole theory on life. I just, I'm glad that we met, and I'm glad that I got to know you. Thank you. I want to talk to you about the tax credit. That's something we've brought up on the show um, with various uh, home home improvement products in the area. I used it this year for insulation, air sealing, and ventilation. Um, but I could have Pat could take advantage of it, correct? For well, new- it's it's available. Uh, this is the last year, so if you know you've got to make your purchase uh, before the end of the year, December thirty first. December thirty first, twenty ten. Uh, yeah, okay. and it's thirty percent of of the cost, and you now like of of a wood stove. Now it's not going to work for gas because gas is not renewable. Oh, oh. okay, mm-hmm. but it will work. On a wood stove. We can just write it on the receipt that it was a wood stove, right? And uh, you can write do. on the receipt whatever you want. <laughs> I, usually, to do with I usually do, Jim. Don't worry. Thank you. Uh, no, it's uh, it's 30%. Uh, and it, uh, the unit has to uh, meet certain efficiencies. It has to be over 75% efficient, for example. Which okay. don't you Not want every that unit anyway? is. What's that? But wouldn't you want that anyway? Sure. I would think. Yeah. Yeah. If you're going to invest that much money. Yeah. I mean, why would you want to invest one that's say 70% and not get a tax credit versus getting 75% mm-hmm. pl- you're saving more energy plus you're saving more money. Right. So yeah, it, it pretty well killed the, uh, the, uh, Inefficient stove business. Oh, right. okay. Yeah. So we're talking wood, oh. coal? No coal. No coal. Just wood. Again, yeah. Wood. It's actually available on wood pellets uh, stoves, um, but I got out of the wood pellet stove business. I know. We know about that. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, I would recommend to any of our listeners that are going to fly down to Williamson Hardware today and see Jim and this awesome stove shop that you, they can ask you directly about that. Because yeah. that's a whole nother story. And that's what, a whole nother story. What yeah. we need to get reason. into right now is letting, I want to just ask you, so our listeners know, as far as this tax credit that's about to expire, if they are looking for a wood stove, do you help the homeowner file for that tax credit? Like, do you have the paperwork? It's so simple. Yeah. Okay. We, we will supply them with a proper certificate. Okay. And then they have to have a copy of their bill mm-hmm. of what they paid. And, and what's really neat about it is, is say if someone has nothing right now and they want to burn wood to save some money, uh, it's the stove, the hearth pad for underneath it, the pipe, the chimney, the labor. Mm. That can all go you toward it, sales? whatever it takes to get it up to code. Oh, good. Okay. How fun would it be to have a little wood stove, 75% efficient? That would be fun. Everything yeah, that, that goes. Would be so plus, fun. you get a thirty yeah. percent tax credit. Hello, you going to Williamson Hardware? Today? I am. I'm going today. All right. How about oh. some of these other products that you have? You, what, what do you mean you can pl- you can call from your iPhone and turn your fireplace on? Kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding me? No, you, uh, these things can be done. Uh, people are today are you know really into technology or into more and more things. And uh, we, we're getting asked to, you know, to do a lot of very interesting and fun things. For example, there's, uh, as you said, uh, there's applications where you can, uh, uh, f- from your phone, you know, call home and uh, turn your, t- your uh, fireplace on because people are setting their, you know, their home, mm-hmm. f- the heat way, way down. So it'd be nice rather than getting home and then turning it on, to have it warmed up by the time you get there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And and then you can turn the TV on that's mounted above the fireplace, you know. Cool. And have it on whatever program you enjoy. That's pretty cool. So you're you're ready. So what about uh, the idea of not having a fire going? So say it's summer, but you have this, this really cool unit in your house and you're entertaining and it's evening. You don't want the heat. From the from the unit, mm-hmm. but you said there's technology out there that you can actually get the crackle noise and the That's lighting correct. of a flame. We can we can put sound we can put sound Dang. onto uh, gas units. Huh. We have electric units with sound, so it sounds wow. like the crackle. So it sounds like you're burning. having a fire and yeah, and it's random because I don't cool. know. Me- remember the 
years ago where they had the, the little birds that you'd put on a Christmas tree that chirped. Yeah. And it, you know, it looked good in the store until you got it home and it about drove you nuts. <laughs> well, <laughs> because of, it was over and over the same thing. Yeah. These are a random sound generator. So, oh. they're, they're, you know, it doesn't. Uh, not a repetitive mode. Yeah, it's not repetitive. Sound. It's random. Okay. And uh, it sounds more like a real wood fire. That's a pretty cool product uh, that you can add. I have to have it. Can <laughs> yeah. I have it on my relic dinosaur fireplace that I've got going on? Uh, possibly. Possibly. Mm. Ooh, really? <laughs> really? Well, yeah. if you get one of those fancy inserts that does all that, you can turn it on from your phone, and yeah. then when you get home, you can have your sound effects. You'll be all set. And you can yeah. plug your so iPod exciting. into it, too. You were well, saying on the commercial th- this break. Is on some, we got electric units. Uh, so we okay. got one uh, that's really neat. It's like eight foot long. Wow. You know, in fact, it really look cool. It's in a restaurant or a bar, that type of, of thing, because you can have it with no heat, or you can have it with heat. Okay. So there's times like in the summer or, or like I say, in a business where you want the ambiance but no heat, mm-hmm. uh, you can just turn it on and uh, it's it's kind of uh, mesmerizing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it really is. And uh, th- that's neat. And when we got small units, uh, uh, we've got a n- new one coming out now that uh, uh, it's, it's electric fire. That is, it looks like a fire. Uh, quite realistic. Okay. Uh, got speakers. You can put have music off your iPhone or whatever cool. coming out of it. So it's a lot of new products uh, that are that are really fun. How, and, these electric uh, flames? Do they look like the ones from the seventies? With um, you know that? No, not the crinkled tin foil. <laughs> yeah, that, that, on, that crap. No, the, <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they've uh, come up with a lot of improvements. Okay. And uh, I mean, we have one that is so real. It's it's phenomenal. So, really? Yeah. That's interesting. I yeah. got to see that. Yeah. Cool. And that has sound as well. Okay. You, but you can turn it off. If you don't want it, you can turn it off. You have it on display? Yes. Oh, sweet. Williamson I Hardware. To, I know. I've got a road head, trip. A road trip. No. <laughs> it's not that far. I know. I'm just Actually, kidding. <laughs> it's not that far at all. No. I've no. Out, it's, yeah. It amazes me. And people always wonder, well, you know, I, I get calls from Rochester saying, do you come into Rochester? I said, we practically live then, in Rochester. Yeah. You know? yeah. we're, we're actually have installed from Buffalo to the Adirondacks, Pennsylvania oh, border. Wow. wow. So you are out there somewhere in there. Today, uh, we'll do it. That's cool. Absolutely. I'm heading down to PA when, when I leave the show today. South of Elmira, actually. Yep. Yep. Cool. Taking cool. the road trip. Not bad. But Williamson, I know I'm in Webster. Williamson Hardware, I don't think it takes me 10 minutes to get no, over it's, there. No, it's uh, four lanes to within a half a mile of our store. So it's, yeah. it's with the new highway, it's very, very quick and easy to get to. And, and uh, this time of year, what Williamson's like apple country. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, Stop, we got a apples. lot of great, uh, yep. you know, a lot of farms out Pinkins. in our area that have little stands that uh, people yep. can come out and uh, buy their apples. Mm-hmm. They can come up and get one for free at the store. That's you right. Know, we always give away free, oh, free apples. apples. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Pat said anything <laughs> free. He'll turn around and sell them on Craigslist. And then Craigslist go to one of our fine <laughs> local farmers and buy it, you know, buy a, a basket. That's cool. Yeah. I like it. It's, it's apple time. That was a blender. <laughs> well, Jim, I can't thank you enough for all of the great information that you brought today. I really hope some of our listeners will go down and see some of these cool products. I know Pat and I next week, we have to make some time to go check it out. Yep. You need to use that tax it. credit anyway. You need uh-huh. to fix that dinosaur relic thing you've got in there. Mm-hmm. And we got to see what kind of new products. Plus, I have to visit with you because, you know, I just... Love your presence. Thank, oh, wow. <laughs> I do. I'm inspired by you. I'm not going to lie. It's public knowledge now, Jim. Uh-oh. Thank Next you. Next week on Property Source Radio, we're going to welcome Cindy Boyer from the Landmark Society. She's going to be giving away tickets to the Landmark Society Ghost Walk. We're going to be talking about some of the older homes in the area and um, giving away those tickets, like I said. So 222-6397 if you want to win tickets to the Ghost Walk. That's the place to be. In the meantime, if you need to reach Patrick or myself, there's always the PropertySourceRadio.com where you can email either one of us. You can also join uh, to be a member of our Facebook group, and you can read our blog about our upcoming shows. A lot of fun. Stay classy, Rochester. And have a great weekend.